Understanding Signalis's lore can be at times very confusing. With deliberate decisions intended to blur the lines, it becomes hard at times to know what's really going on. This can make theory writing very difficult and very hard and frustrating in general. So today, I'll be taking some quick time to establish some ways we can try and understand the game and how using these methodologies can help with theory writing and understanding the lore as a whole. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So to begin, the simplest way that theories are created is via connected evidence. For example, if a series of notes all connect to each other, and if all do not contradict each other, then they all hold true relevant to each other and can be used to establish a theory based off each other. An example of this can be seen in the notes detailing the decay of the facility. All notes regarding it do not contradict each other, but rather establish a chronological timeline of what occurred. However, these pieces can only really be used to establish a theory or idea within the bounds of the evidence. I mean, it can't be used to determine information regarding, for example, if the facility is actually real, or just a copy of the facility, or if it's from outside reality. That would require differing evidence and differing theories to prove. This connection evidence can also be used on a smaller scale as well, for example, because the Colibris in the terminal rot front ordered an SMG, and there is an SMG on her desk, we can assume that the SMG was in fact the one she ordered. So this type of evidence and this type of theory writing just proves small, connected evidence and ideas. Signalis, however, doesn't make life easy. Usually in theory writing in other games, one would only really have to use these connected evidence to create theories. However, Signalis does, as I said, blur the lines between reality and, well, confused reality. So in order to theory write, we must be able to sometimes reject certain evidence. Whenever possible, though, one should not reject evidence. For example, I try in my theories and videos to reject no evidence, and when I do reject it, I often explain the rejection in the video itself. But how can one reject evidence? Well, the rejection of evidence isn't something you just do randomly. That is called cherry picking, and just because evidence disagrees with you, or even with an established chronology, doesn't mean it can just be rejected. To reject evidence, there must be sufficient reasoning to question the validity of it. If it's a note, maybe its author has bias or perspective that makes it non-objective. For example, the diary of someone who is corrupted or someone who wouldn't be able to understand what is actually going on can be questioned in the validity of it. Or in Signalis' case, maybe a room or event has questionable plausibility, so you doubt if it actually occurred. For example, the non-normal rooms in Nowhere or the Plate of Eternity scene. However, just because you have sufficient reason to reject a piece of evidence doesn't mean you're exactly in the clear theory writing yet. Having rejected a piece of evidence, you must fully reject that piece of evidence. This means any information provided by it must be self-contained. Let me explain better. For example, if I reject nowhere as being a room that cannot resist within reality, it's not real, nothing in it is real, then I cannot use any evidence within nowhere for arguments about reality, because it's not real. To give a specific example, if I say everything in nowhere is not real, then the plates that we see in nowhere cannot be real, even if they are found elsewhere. And a theory and explanation must be made as to how they exist elsewhere. Or if I reject Adler's diary from being from a writer that's not too sound-minded, then I cannot accept the data of some parts of the diary and not of other parts, else I am cherry-picking evidence. I can't say, hey, you know, this agrees with established chronology, so I'm okay with him here, and say at other times, well, no, he's crazy. I must reject all evidence. I can't use any evidence from that diary, or else you are cherry-picking. All in all, theory writing is rather simple. It is difficult in signals because a lot of evidence seems to contradict each other or seems to just blur some lines. And if you know how to properly get rid of or selectively choose evidence, it can make life a lot easier. Don't cherry pick evidence and don't try to remove as much evidence as you can. Try to work with as much of it as we possibly can in a moment. But hopefully this at least slightly helps understanding not only my process for making videos, but can help you guys with your own theories and understanding how to make a theory that you know works better. You know, get rid of some of that frustration that you've probably been feeling as you've been running straight into walls while writing synopsis theories. If you'd like to speak to other Signalis players or work on getting a greater understanding of the game as a whole, I hopefully have working links to my Discord link below. This has been Christopher Beast, though. I hope you enjoy, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.